So here's the entrance to the uh, Arecibo Observatory. Today we are at the uh, Arecibo Observatory. This is the home, the once home, of the uh, most powerful radio radar telescope in the world. Um, it, uh, unfortunately, it uh, collapsed, I don't know, a year or so ago. And, um, but then uh, just finally reopened up for, uh, for visitors. So um, we're going to take a little tour and see what's left and see what they're still showing us today. So that's... Uh, we did see it a few years back. We came when it was still an active telescope and we'll share some pictures for you of the, uh, the way it used to look. And then we'll take a look at how it looks now. Yeah, and what they're, what they're going to show us and what the visitor center looks like now. So let's, uh, let's go. All right, it's telling us that we have to walk 500 steps uphill. Should be in good health, free from high blood pressure, heart, back, or neck problems, motion sickness, or any other thing that can be aggravated by the steep climb. Well, good luck. Right, we just started our journey up the 500 steps. Nicely painted. Colorfully painted, actually. And uh, we're one of the first people in the lot. And along the way up, it's a little representation of uh, all the plants. Wow. We have uh, little displays on the way up. This one's not labeled, but it uh, appears to be, you know, what uh, pieces of uh, what failed here when they when it collapsed. Continuing on the trek up. Right. First glance of the center here. And another little rest stop. Looks like uh, this is a place that secured some of the cables holding the observatory in place at one point in time. All right. Getting to the visitor center. I remember this, man. <laughs> and so the columns. Yeah. And there's the little entryway, some displays here. Have a couple movies that we're going to see before they take us out into the observatory itself. A little history of the facility. It looks like uh, they started building this in uh, June 1960. Some pictures along the way. That looked like in March 62. We got closer, February 63. Yeah. August 63. And then uh, some improvements in 1974. And and a little bit more upstairs here. Here's what it looked like. It's uh, suspended over, over the fish. left of the dish. And then from yeah. uh, tower 4 and tower 12, there's only a third left of how tall they used to be. And from tower 8, there's only a fourth left of how tall it used to be. Wow. Ah, wow. And they, uh, they, all, uh, they all fell during the collapse? Yeah, they all yeah, broke yeah, I think I saw that in the, uh, in the movie there. Uh. Wow, thank God I have. Here. So this is a uh, thousand feet across. Yeah. Wow. That's what the, the uh, and then individual that very panels look like. Shoe over there uh, was used for whenever there was debris on oh. the, the dish. So you would put it on. This is how you walk on it. Oh, uh, that's. <laughs> That each of the 
So here are some of the pieces of equipment that were in the uh, Gregorian dome. Some of which they got out beforehand and some of which uh, you know, they didn't before it, uh, it fell. So it's interesting coming back to the Arecibo Observatory today after about uh, 10 years since we've been here last. Uh, the, uh, the observatory uh, collapsed in December 1st of 2020 after starting to experience uh, some, uh, some cable spraying, I think in November of, uh, of uh, 2019 after a series of uh, months long earthquakes. Um, but, uh, so it's very interesting that you know, they're still doing a lot of uh, scientific experiments with uh, data that they've collected over the years that had never really been processed. Uh, so that's still ongoing and there are certainly discussions about what to do with the facility. Uh, whether to rebuild it or uh, you know, put next generation uh, equipment in it. Uh, that's all left up to the National Science Foundation at this point. But uh, it, was, it was interesting, cost us, uh, you know, the, the, the cost here is $12 for kids and seniors, 15 for, for other people. We spent uh, I don't know, a little over an hour here uh, between uh, looking through the, uh, the interactive uh, uh, exhibits, which uh, Lisa liked for the kids, and uh, going through a uh, you know, you know, 10 minute uh, 10 minute video and we were the only people there so we got to have personal personalized tour and, and our personal questions answered and then going out and, and looking at what's left of the observatory so anyhow thanks for coming it's just in time for your part <laughs> <laughs> yes may your suitcase continue to be messy and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of our upcoming videos hasta luego